ever wonder what will happen if current activity took place in space? Nope, but apparently director Gonzalo Lopez Gallego did with Apollo 18. Yes, people, the box office hit Paranormal Activity has taken off into the outer limits. Or in this case, the moon. Though it's not actually related to the Paranormal Activity movies, it obviously took its premise from that, this time, in space. In this case, in the 70s. So, shaky handheld camera? Check. Underdeveloped story made up with characters you don't really care about by the end? Check. Except for the Soviet corpse. That was a really beautiful performance. <laughs> Almost everything's here, folks, including the highly predictable ending. But there is one thing that we didn't expect, though. Yeah, gotta give props to the director and writers for the twists of the aliens on the moon, which you wouldn't really expect since they're not typical aliens. If only they were prawn. As for the story, it just consists of some astronauts sent to the moon in their final Apollo mission hidden to the public in 79. After a bit, things start to get weird and before you know it, they gotta find a way off the moon before it's too late. Or is it? Like most other handheld style flicks, the movie calls itself to be real footage, though it doesn't really rub off like that by the end, especially during the last 20-30 minutes or so. The momentum is also broken by the switching of the cameras from one vessel to another, and just feels very odd, but it does get credit for attempting something different, and slightly, only slightly original. And in the end, you feel like you've been to this movie before, and you kinda wish you would've watched something else to get that cold, stale taste out of your eyes. It's like Drive, starring Ryan Gosling. So, what are we giving Apollo 18? We the movie men are giving Apollo 18 three alien space rocks out of five. They had spirit and a unique idea to tell the handheld story on the moon, but unfortunately it doesn't portray as well as they thought it would. It ends up being a been there done that situation that you can clearly enjoy more in movies such as The Blair Witch Project or Approval. It's sad to see such a good start rub off to a messy finish. I'm sorry Dave, I'm afraid I can't do that.